Hey everyone, Josh Powers for Polygon Flow. And in today's video, we're going to go over how I created this scene inspired by William Fauché. So let's get to it. So I'm going to start here with a simple displaced terrain and texture. You could build this using the modeling program of your choice, Unreal's built-in modeling tools, or even creating a small terrain with Dash. And in this case, I also use the Megascan surface to displace the mesh to give it a bit of undulation so that it wasn't a perfectly smooth surface. So the first thing we'll want to do is place a log in the scene since the rifle, which is the focal point, will be propped up against it. So we'll go ahead and open up Dash and then open the content library. We'll make sure that we're on the Megascans menu and then search for a log. Because this scene will have a lot of really busy detail on the forest floor when we're finished, I want to go with a fairly simple log that is a bit smoother looking. So we'll drag and drop this one into the scene and move, scale, and rotate it into position using Dash's placement tool. I want to get a jump on the camera work since I'm going to only detail out the parts of the scene I'll see in this frame. So I'll add a new camera through Dash's prompt bar and then move it roughly into the position I want for this particular shot. And before I move on, I'll go to the camera settings and change the focal length to 50 millimeters to get a nice and up close angle. And then I'll play with the position a little more until I'm happy with where it is. And we'll come back for the other settings a bit later. All right, let's go ahead and place the rifle. This is a free model I got off Sketchfab, which of course will be linked in the comments below. Using Dash's new AI tagging system, I'm able to simply go to my custom assets tab in the content library and type gun. And right here you can see that the model is ready to go. Now I can drag it into the scene. I'll go ahead and place the rifle so that it's leaning up against the log. And once I'm pretty happy with where it's positioned, I'll go ahead and switch back to my camera to fine tune the placement so it looks best from the camera's perspective. And I do the same thing with the hat, which I also downloaded for free from Sketchfab. Again, the AI tagging system makes asset management incredibly easy in Dash with minimal effort. It's truly a game-changing system I wish I'd had access to all my career. I also went ahead and added a few trees. Though these trees will not be visible in frame, they do act as an important light blocker to give the darker, flatter look I'm going for with this shot. All right, for the most part, we can go ahead and stay locked into our camera's perspective now, since the majority of the assets will be placed with this view in mind. And what I want to add now is a nice rock or two up here. This will become especially important as the ground gets busier with various details because it'll fight against the rifle's barrel hanging past the log. Adding a rock or two here will create a nice backdrop to give a good contrast between the barrel and the background. And honestly, that's about all we need to do for hand placing assets for now. We'll come back in the end to add a few more touches, but for now it's time to scatter some assets, including an amazing new feature that you might not be familiar with. If you've used Dash for any time, I don't need to tell you how powerful the scatter feature is. So let's go ahead and search for some Megascans assets to start scattering. We'll start with this one here by dragging it out under the scene, and while holding down control, I'll let off the mouse button and this menu will pop up. And I'll go ahead and select the scatter option. Then it's just a matter of tweaking the settings to get the results we want. As always, I like to build up my scenes in layers. What this oftentimes means is that I'm going to use the same asset multiple times in various scales and densities to not only help sell the variety of debris we would see on the forest floor like this, but it'll also allow me to add more depth to my scene using the same asset multiple times, saving on the texture memory. Something like this would take ages to do by hand, but in just a few minutes, I was able to achieve it with Dash. Okay, as I mentioned before, there's a great new feature in Dash that you might not know about, and that's the ability for Dash to load Megascans that you might have downloaded from Quixel's standalone bridge application. This means that certain asset types, such as Atlas maps, are now available to import through Dash. All you need to do is open the content library, press on the three dots over here, and set your standalone bridge download folder. 
Once that's set, the content library will show you the assets that are currently in that folder. While this feature is great on its own, you might be wondering how it can help speed up your workflow. Well, let's go ahead and find an atlas map we like, and then we'll simply drag it into the scene, and like before, we'll hold down Control before letting go of the mouse button. And then we select Scatter. And boom, in one action, Dash took the atlas texture from the standalone bridge downloads, used the opacity to create alpha card meshes for each of the objects on the atlas texture, and then scattered them on the ground. Now we can make some adjustments to the scatter settings, and then add another atlas, and then another, and another. And just like that, we've added unprecedented depth to this forest floor with literally just a couple of clicks. All right, now we can hop back into the camera settings menu and start playing with all the nicely organized settings that'll let us adjust the post effects, color grading, and more just to let us really enhance the mood of this shot. And turn on path tracer, and voila. We went from a simple terrain mesh with a texture to a complex forest floor in just a few minutes. A feat that would be impossible without Dash. So be sure to check out Dash for yourself and see how it can help improve your workflow. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.